You know, fishing grass with a spinnerbait, it's just like fishing docks or laydowns or something. There's always something that they're on at different times of the day or under different conditions. They'll set up on these little ambush places, which are usually points and indentions and things like that. But the first thing is you don't want to throw it and make it land right on top of where they're at. You want to throw it past and, you know, whenever you do go fishing during the day and they're biting, it's easy. But a lot of times they don't want to bite. And that's why, you know, you hear us talk about making them react. That's what I'm doing with the spinnerbait is just doing little things, whether I pause it or speed it up or just pop it to get them to react naturally. Even though all these weeds look the same, they're not. Some of them are real shallow and you may have a little ditch swing or something in next to it that gives it a little deeper water and right up coming through here, you got a lot of thin stuff and then you got that one thick clump. Well, that's probably where that fish hangs out most of the time and probably feeds. The sparse stuff is where I would think I would catch them if it was cloudy and windy and then right there where they can bury up with the sun, they're probably gonna be in that thicker clump. He smoked it, I seen him come like six foot to get it. He's hot.